not here to diminish anybody's individual personal feelings towards any sort of subject that gets them emotional or gets them upset. That is not my place, that is not my right. Everybody has a right to feel how they feel about a certain subject matter. What I'm here to discuss, or to pretty much be pissed off about, is this whole movement in the triggering scene. Now, as somebody that suffers from PTSD, and nowhere near to the point of, say, a soldier that fought in any war, or a man or a woman that has been brutally assaulted sexually or physically in their life. I don't suffer from that form of PTSD. I get my own issues from time to time. I handle them the best I can. I get help from a therapist if I need it. What pisses me off about this triggering movement that seems to be just all over the place these days are the people that are literally crying wolf. Young adults, teenagers that don't get the attention at home, which is a whole other issue on its own, and I'm sorry for those people, that sucks. It is the people. These people are narcissistic, they are attention grabbers, they do whatever they can to try to get support, redemption, reassurance of their existence. They do whatever they can to gain attention. And this week, the trigger mode was engaged, was way, way blown out of proportion. If you haven't seen the latest episode of Game of Thrones, then I guess trigger warning, it's got a pretty rough scene at the end, but no rougher than it has had on the screen for the last four or five years, whenever the fucking show started. This is no worse than the very first episode when Daenerys got handed down by her brother and she was raped by Drago. This is no different than Theon being tortured, flayed, got castrated. This is no different than either one of those situations. I'm gonna lose it here. My problem is the old fable. You know, the boy who cries wolf. The girl who cries wolf, if you want to be PC. The person who cries wolf. This is a basic concept of what lying can do, of what over-exaggeration can do. There are people who suffer daily, daily, with issues like PTSD. And now you've got all these little fucking attention grabbers that are out there using the internet, using a cause like feminism to gain moral support that they feel that they need. This is a massive diminishing of the word trigger. This is a disgrace to people that actually do suffer. This movement, I don't want to call it a movement, you put something out there, a term like trigger, and you spread it around and, and, and you try to say that everything is a trigger. No, everything isn't a trigger. If you are on a bus and somebody looks at you and you get uncomfortable because that person checked you out because you're attractive or that person looked at you because you sneezed, they're not raping you with their mind. They aren't assaulting you with their eyes. They're literally just looking in your direction. And if it's because they find you attractive, well, that should flatter you that somebody is willing to find you attractive. If it triggers you, if it triggers some response in you that makes you think that you're being molested, or you're being insulted, whether you're a man or a woman, there is something inside you that you need to go talk about. There is no reason for this overuse of a term. They are literally hurting the real people that cry for help, the real people that look to others to give them moral support and they actually need it. Not just some youth, some young adult, that doesn't get the attention that they need or that they crave at home or from their friends. So they go online and make up bullshit excuses. Put up pictures of them crying and weeping over a scene in a TV show that for starters, they shouldn't have been watching anyways. It has had some of the most graphic scenes that has ever been put on TV, yet all of a sudden, you get a group of hardcore radicals saying that it is a triggering moment and causing an uproar, and you get these narcissists, attention-seeking sycophants, just crying wolf over something, over a piece of media that they shouldn't have been watching in the first place. Things have ratings for a reason. When a real person goes and asks for help, you know what you've done? You have literally created the stigma that triggering is just false cries. That triggering is a cry wolf tactic. 
you diminish the meaning of the word, and you put the people who need real help at risk. This is what you're doing with this triggering movement. You are hurting the ones that actually need it. And as somebody, like I said, that suffers from minor anxiety issues and PTSD, according to my therapist, I, will ne I won't go online if I have an issue like this. Because I now have the, the thought or the fear inside me that people are just going to say, Dude, you're so full of shit, you're just looking for attention. Because that is what a majority of the people are doing. Looking for their own individual, personal attention. And, and, it's, and it's not good. That basically sums it up, I guess. It's not fucking good. Ha <laughs>